Hello and welcome to another StarCraft 2 editor tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to create uh, units in drop pods and it sounds really easy um, to, to do this and it really is um, but there are some things that are quite frustrating and it's uh, really difficult to figure out at first um, so I figured I uh, I could just cover that in this tutorial as well so let's go ahead and uh, create a new map it's just a uh, wings of liberty map yes and let's create some points and this is going to be our spawn point and um, let's create a move point this is, uh, this point here is uh, going to be the point where uh, the units going to move to um, so yeah we're pretty much done with the terrain right now so let's go into the trigger editor and let's unselect this and select it again and delete all this stuff um, and let's create a new action let's start out by re revealing the map um, the entire map for player one for zero seconds which means an unlimited amount of time um, and let's create a new unit create unit facing angle oh. uh, let's create a marine player one uh, at point um, this point actually doesn't matter because um, when when the uh, when we move the unit into the uh, drop pod he's uh, the drop pod is going to select a new location for him so uh, yeah really doesn't matter which point you spawn him at right here so uh, let's create a new action and if we search for drop pod it's not going to show up in here um, that's because we have to change uh, the dependencies in the file dependencies here and let's just add two another stand or two other standards two standards sorry um, let's add the liberty campaign and liberty story and press ok and let's just wait for a second um, yeah alright there we go and let's create a new action and if we search for drop pod right now it's uh, you can see it, it uh, shows up and it's labeled campaign um, so select that and uh, let's create not a circ that's weird um, a Terran drop pod at location there you go new location uh, point one for last created units so uh, it's actually pretty much done right now so let's test it out and there we go see the marine spawned and he moved out of the uh, the drop pod so um, let's try to see if we can move this marine after we uh, we spawn him with this drop pod um, let's see issue order search for issue order the triggering not the triggering unit but the last created unit um, to order to targeting point uh, let's make him move to uh, point number two. Um, this is just to show you that this uh, this is the way you would do it uh, traditionally, but it's not working this way. Um, I'm going to show you why or how to fix it. Um, so right now we would we would think that he would uh, run to this point up here, our point number two, but he doesn't. Uh, and the reason behind that is because we have to create a new local variable we have to save uh, our unit in a local variable um, so let's create a new local variable and s uh, of type unit and um, it's going to let's create a new action set variable set our unit uh, to our last created unit uh, and we're going to change issue order the unit to move to targeting point here. Don't know why that is, don't know why we need to, to save the unit into a local variable, but we just have to. It's just how it works, so let's test it out. Drop pod spawns, and he moves right when uh, he gets out of the drop pod, so there you go. Um, that's how to, uh, to move 
the units after uh, after you spawn him in a drop pod. So we could do this with multiple units as well. Uh, let's just say three units. And then we have to change this unit to a unit group because now it's three marines instead of one. Uh, let's change this to last created units. And then we have to change this uh, entire action as well because this uh, only applies to one unit and this action applies to um, an, uh, a unit group. So let's select that and order the unit group here to the targeting point to target uh, move targeting point number two so now it should work for three marines or just multiple units in general you could put a hundred marines in those if you wanted to so yeah that's how to uh, create units with drop pods and make them move uh, right after they spawn out of it or just uh, move out of the drop pods so uh, yeah thanks for watching